A positively Jack's story this evening out of Clay County a Public Safety Initiative. It's helping locate uh, local first responders thanks to donations from the community. News for Jack's reporter Amanda DeVoe was there when the organization presented a check to the Clay County Sheriff. On behalf of the citizens of Clay County and Signal 35, we are happy to help out. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. It's going to be put to good use. I appreciate Great. it. An initiative named after Clay County's radio code for first responders who need help is now helping others in a new way. The first check from Signal 35 was presented to Sheriff Michelle Cook and now ready to help deputies in need. And, you know, those who get into police and fire, we know we're not going to make a lot of money, right? We do it because we have a passion to serve our community. And when something bad happens to you, you really caught flat footed. Part of the $13,000 the organization raised so far is helping a former deputy who needs emergency surgery and won't be able to work and afford rent for a couple of months. This deputy retired and was working in, in the private industry, but didn't really have much of a pension or much of a savings because they did not make a lot of money. The Signal 35 fund stepped up and offered uh, assistance to help pay for rent uh, for a couple of months. Signal 35 CEO Judson Sapp says this initiative has been in the works for about a year, and he's pleased to see the donations from the community helping first responders in need. I think it means a lot that the citizens of Clay County care enough to do this for them, and it's, it's really great. I'm so proud of the citizens of Clay County, and I'm so proud of our first responders. Sheriff Cook says other counties, including Duval and Putnam, already have funds like this in place. She's glad Clay finally has one of its own. Before the Signal 35 fund existed, I had no way of getting them the assistance they needed. She and Sapp say the check is a start to something much greater. So I'm just really excited that uh, people stood up to support those who serve on the front line to protect and serve our community. Amanda DeVoe, Channel 4, The Local Station. The funds can also help first responders with Orange Park Police, Green Cove Springs Fire or Police Department, Clay Fire, and Clay County School District Police. You can learn how to donate on news4jacks.com.